Okay. And the last one is radical revolutionaries. Nobody is talking about, again, the Nazis in Greece. The Nazis in Greece. When I first brought this up, they, weren't, they didn't even exist. And I was mocked and ridiculed. Then they had 2% in Greece. Now remember, they killed a third of the population of Greece. A third. In World War II, a third of the population in Greece. Then they had 8%. Then they had 10%. Then 12%. They now have 22%. 22% support in a country that was killed by the Nazis. Excuse me? How does that happen? Desperation. Lies. Corruption. That's how it happens. But you also have the Nazis coming over here, and now the Golden Dawn Party has opened up an office in, in New York. You've seen the radical revolutionaries on our own streets. There may not be Nazis. But see, we had three things. We had three things that we should have fought in World War II, and we only fought two of them. We fought fascism. Mussolini, bad. Fascism, bad. Nazism, another idea, bad. Hitler, Mussolini, dead. Wipe it off the face of the earth. But because I believe we didn't have enough faith in God and because we waited way too long, we needed to embrace the third idea. And we also did it because there were, there were communists in our own country. The labor unions. I want you to read a book called Freedom's Forge. It is fantastic. But boy, will you learn a lot about the communists in the United States of America during World War II. It's really, a, it's really an uplifting book. It shows how great this country is. It shows what we accomplished building up to World War II and how we did it and the entrepreneurs and what they went through and the regulations and everybody else that they had to fight in the progressive government. It is a fantastic book. Freedom's Forge. 